What are your kids reading these days? There's a new children's book which deals with science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM. The author wanted Zoe Linden's big move to the loo to show where young girls of color could see themselves. It also deals with the anxiety of fitting in puberty, friendship, and science. We welcome author Michael Anderson this morning. Hello to you. Good morning. All right, what prompted you to write this book and why is this particular message so important? Um, actually, it's, it's about representation. Um, my daughters, who are both STEM engineers, STEM majors, excuse me, uh, but when they were younger, a lot of the books that they were reading, um, they did not have girls that were lead characters that looked like them. So it was very important for me to write a story that was relevant, um, but that looked like my daughters, you know, brown girls, mm -hmm. black girls. Is this going to be a series? It is a series. Yeah. I just completed the second book. Um, it's doesn't actually, I think it's scheduled to be released sometime in June. Um, so it's coming, but right now it's Zoe Linden's Big Move to the Loo that is out. I love it. And, the, and her character, she feels like an outcast, but she eventually finds her identity in science and then gains the confidence. Is that what you're hoping the reader experiences as well? Absolutely, because so many girls are tracked away from these types of fields and these fields pay good money. Uh, currently, there's only like 21 percent female engineers and 19 percent computer science um, that are female. And so I really want to encourage young girls to consider STEM, consider science. It's fun. Yeah, it is. I wish I paid more attention when I was younger. So what kind of feedback are you getting from those who have read it? Oh, my goodness. It's been amazing. So I've uh, did an activity where Girl Scouts are able to earn a badge with this. And so I've met with about 700 plus Girl Scouts across the country. And when we log on to our Zoom calls, it's amazing to, to have them tell me that they've read the book three times um, before our meeting. And so they, they really enjoy it. And then they tell me what they want to see happen, you know, in the second and third book. Awesome. I love that. Getting feedback from the readers. And you are giving back by donating some every time you hit a sales milestone, right? Absolutely. So um, just because I value literacy, I know that not everyone has a, a library in their homes. And so every time I reach a thousand new book sales, I donate to a literacy, you know, a local organization, give them books so that those girls or those children can can have this book. Fantastic. We understand you have a book signing this Saturday, Mid Rivers, Barnes and Noble. Exactly. I'm so excited. This is my book was released during the pandemic. So this is my first uh, in person activity and it is at the Barnes and Nobles in um, St. Peter's, Missouri. Fantastic. We'll make sure we put that on our website. I know you also have a newsletter, a blog, a great website. You can get the book on Amazon or go visit her at the book signing on Saturday. Bring your uh, children there. Get this book. It looks really great. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be looking forward to more editions. Thank you so much, Randy. All right.